The last time we saw the Duplicolor Chevrolet project truck, we'd just gotten all the paint taken care of on it. We used the white paint shop on the whole truck, then we masked off the rocker panels and put the mineral gray down there on the bottom for a nice looking two-tone finish. Now it's time to put the clear on and really make this baby shine. Let's get back in there and make it happen. I made sure to thoroughly shake and stir the contents. We don't need to mix or reduce the clear, and the air pressure in the gun will remain at 30 to 40 pounds, the same as when applying the paint. The first coat should be applied with a light to medium coat, holding the gun 8 to 10 inches from the surface. After I let that first coat dry for about 15 minutes, I applied a medium to full second coat. And remember, you can apply as many coats as necessary to achieve your desired gloss. The paint and the clear are nice and dry. Now we can get in here and polish this bad boy up and really bring out the shine. I've pretty much got everything that I need right here. I've got the random orbital polisher right here. That's good to go. I'm not going to use a high speed one because unless you're a pro and you're doing it every day, if you're not paying attention and you're going too fast on it and really aggressive, you can go right through all the work that you just did and we don't want to do that. All right. So we've also got our polishing compound right there and our 1500 grit sandpaper. Now the first thing I'm going to do is with the sandpaper, I'm going to feel up here and make sure there's no imperfections. If there are any I'm going to smooth them down real good so I get this wet now this is another thing that you don't want to get too aggressive on because if you really grind it on this and push it into it you can go right through your clear coat and back down into your color and you don't want to do that certainly but if you do it's not the end of the world because all you have to do is dry everything off you can spray on another coat of color spray on some more clear and you're back at the step that we're at right now so don't worry about it try not to do it but if you do it's not the end of the world now I get this nice and dry. Now it's time for the polishing, which is really cool. Now we come in here and we'll just squirt some polish down here on this. I'm just going to get a little bit on there because we're only doing a small section right now. So when I come up here, I just kind of want to rub it in there real quick, just a little bit so when I turn it on, it doesn't go flying all over the place. That should do it. Now we're ready to fire it up. Now as you do this, you want to apply a little bit of pressure while you do it. Now that looks much better and it feels good too, but I've got a lot of truck left. So I've got to repeat all these steps to the rest of the truck. Then I can put a coat of Carnauba wax on it and this baby will be shining. Man, our Duplicolor Project truck is looking good, Matt. Nice job on the paint, bud. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. It's coming along. It's coming along. Now, keep in mind, this thing was a pile when we got it, but we got some fresh paint on it. It's shining up a little bit, so this is good. But no, you know what? You yeah. know what? This had been easy to do, though, bro. I don't think you could have pulled it off otherwise. Oh, it wasn't too bad. With the Duplicolor Paint Shop, man, you just point and spray, and it's done. You buff it out, and you got a nice shine on this old beat-up truck, man. This thing had been neglected, so now it's just got a new little High Pro Glow on there, dude. I like it. But take a look at this, man. We got a lot of other things going on on this truck as well. Yeah, it's definitely going to get a facelift up front with the new grill from LMC Trucks. We'll definitely complement this paint. It's going to look better. It's going to sound better with that heartthrob exhaust. Let me tell you, that's for sure. We've been down that road many a times. You know what's going to get it a little more performance out of that intake as well. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, the things just keep piling up on this thing, and our buddy's going to be real happy when he gets us back. Another guy he that's going to be. be happy, dude, <laughs> is the guy that gets the Jeep back, man. Our buddy there, that suspension's nice. Yeah, it should ride a whole lot better. You know what? That tubing bender was really cool to play with. I hope Mike doesn't need that roll bar, <laughs> but if he does, it's there. Save him. Better to be safe than sorry. All right, that's going to wrap it up for us today. We're out of time, but we're going to keep working, and we'll see you around.